down in Memphis on Highway 287, there's a blues man, William D. McFalls, otherwise known as Blues Boy Willie. He plays the music, but he's also lived, you know, he's lived the blues. And uh, so, I mean, it comes straight from the heart. Fun growing up as a kid around the Memphis, Texas, home, home of blues. <laughs> This night, Blues Boy Willie is backed by the Johnny Reverb Band at Smokey Joe's on 6th. When we make a good pair, and uh, he can throw the ball real well and I can catch it. So, and vice versa. It, it's, it's not like, let's do this so people think it's cool. It's just, we're having fun. And I guess, you know, people sometimes do think it's cool. <laughs> These days in Memphis, where a horse is as good as a car, Willie likes to hang out and talk to folks in his hometown. Oh, he's an icon of this community. He, uh, he has a unique talent, and he does it extremely well in his performance. He was born in 1946. His father played with Ma Rainey and taught him the harp. When he was a kid, he loved to play. Bicycles, roll cases, tires, you know, <laughs> makeshift toys, you know, we made stuff to play with, you know, made guitars or whatever. And it was a fun time coming up, but, but mostly, uh, <laughs> I mostly played in the cotton patches, but you know, it's supposed to have been working. Bow pulling, that was hard work, man. Got many spankings for not doing what I'm supposed to do in the field. Amarillo musicians love playing the blues with Willie, but they also know he's a perfectionist. Uh, the main thing is you always want to make sure and look over and he's smiling because if he gives you the stink eye, <laughs> you know you're not doing your job. It's like your dad looks at you when you're a kid, you know, if you're, if you're playing ball or something, you miss the, the catch that loses the game, you know, and you're, you don't want to get that look later on. But uh, he's a lot of fun. Yes, I'm sorry, I gotta leave my woman alone. Blues Boy Willie's got a new CD. His 11, he recorded it at WT. And despite his success, he's playing the blues. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.